The big mistakes people are making with vitamin B12 supplements. Many people turn to vitamin B12 supplements to raise energy levels, to help reduce paleness in the skin and for brain fog, nerve problems, sleep and more. But I often notice that people are making the same mistakes with vitamin B12 which makes it far less effective than it should be. In this video I'll talk about the most common B12 mistakes and also how to use it properly to get the best results. This video is for educational purposes only, so always speak with your doctor if you have any medical issues. Mistake number one is using the wrong type of B12. The most common supplement form of B12 is very low quality called cyanocobalamin. This is the type used to fortify cereals, energy drinks and common B12 supplements. This version is not the active form used by your body and it's actually made chemically in a lab from cyanide. Your liver has to work very hard to detoxify the cyanide before it can activate and use the B12 to build red blood cells for your nerves, energy, etc. Instead, you may want to choose the natural active version of B12 called methylcobalamin, which your body can begin using immediately after taking it. Mistake number two is taking the wrong amount. Human beings need at least 2.4 micrograms of vitamin B12 every day when it comes from food. However, when you're taking a supplement, you generally need higher doses between 1000 and 5000 micrograms per day as only 1-2% of this is fully absorbed and activated in the body. Mistake number 3 is taking it at the wrong time. Taking B12 supplements late at night can energise the body and keep you awake for hours, so it's much better to take it in the morning on an empty stomach. Vitamin B12 is water soluble, so drinking a large glass of water with it can help to deliver it through your stomach to the ileum where it is absorbed. Number 4 is a common genetic problem. Did you know that 40-60% to 60 of people can't absorb B12 properly from fortified foods or from cyanocobalamin supplements? This is because of a common genetic mutation in the MTHFR gene. Because of this, you can get fatigue, mood problems and higher homocysteine levels which increases heart disease risk as you get older. But don't worry, you can get a very simple cheek swab or a blood test to find out if you have this issue. And if you do, the solution is to simply take the natural methylcobalamin as a supplement instead of the synthetic form. Now the fifth problem is not absorbing it. You might be taking supplements and eating lots of B12 rich foods but not absorbing it if you don't have enough stomach acid to break it down. Low stomach acid is common in people with reflux, indigestion or when you're over the age of 50 or those of you who take antacids or PPI medications often. All you need to do is drink one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed in two cups of water before a meal. This naturally improves the quality of your stomach acid and helps you to absorb B12 much better. Mistake number 6. Avoiding red meat. Red meat is hands down the richest natural source of B12 and heme iron in the world which is used by your body to form red blood cells. Unfortunately this is why many vegans and vegetarians suffer from long term deficiencies because you can't get B12 from plant based foods other than a little bit from sea algae like chlorella. So aim to eat a portion of beef liver, lamb or shellfish at least 4 times per week to help meet your natural B12 requirements. Now mistake number 7 is expecting immediate results. Whatever you're taking B12 for, remember that it is not a medication, it's a nutrient, so it takes a little time to build up in your body and go to work. Red blood cells for example take between 7 to 10 days to begin increasing after you fix your B12 deficiency. Paleness, fatigue, breathlessness and mood often improve within 2-4 to four weeks and nerve repair really kicks in within 1-3 to three months if you're constantly supplementing and absorbing it well, so do be patient. 
Mistake number eight is relying on the wrong blood test. The standard vitamin B12 serum blood test doesn't tell you if the B12 is active or not in your blood, so it can even give you a false result saying you're in the normal range even when you're actually deficient in the cells. Sadly, this is often missed by the professionals, especially if you're also taking folate or folic acid, which can also mask signs of low B12 on blood tests. Instead, you might ask your doctor for an MMA test, which is far more accurate. If this level is high, it means that not enough active B12 is entering the cells. Mistake number nine is missing cofactors. In order for vitamin B12 to work properly, you also need folate and vitamin B6. These all work in your body like a team in making DNA, detoxification, forming red blood cells, and also making brain chemicals like serotonin, which help to protect against depression. Fortunately for you, beef liver has all three of these nutrients, making it a true superfood. But avocados, sunflower seeds, broccoli, pistachios and leafy greens can also supply lots of folate and B6. If you decide to take a supplement, use the methylated versions like methylfolate, not folic acid. Mistake number 10, relying on injections. Many aging adults who can't absorb B12 very well rely on two to three monthly injections. These usually use the form called hydroxocobalamin, which is natural and it stays in the body longer, and this is good for long-term deficiencies. However, there are also sublingual under the tongue forms which go directly into your bloodstream, and these are often just as effective when you use them consistently. Mistake 11, taking it with calcium. Calcium rich foods or supplements can compete with vitamin B12 for absorption in your intestine, so it's important to not take your B12 supplements with milk, cheese or dairy products. It's best to give it at least an hour after taking B12 before you eat dairy or take any calcium supplements. And another mistake people often make is ignoring their gut health. Certain bad bacteria in your gut, like in SIBO, can steal B12 before it gets absorbed. This is why people who are on high fiber plant-based diets often feel worse because the high fiber can be feeding the bad bacteria. Using a carnivore diet for a few months with some natural methylated B vitamin supplements can usually help to balance out the gut bacteria, along with other remedies like apple cider vinegar, fasting and berberine. So now that you've heard all this, let's take a look at the different types of vitamin B12 supplements on the market. Methylcobalamin is the active, natural form which is best for brain health, nerve repair, sleep and energy, and sublingual forms absorb very well under the tongue. Adenosylcobalamin is another active form which is best for energy production, and it helps people with chronic fatigue and neurological issues. Hydroxocobalamin is a stable, injectable form often used by doctors. This type stays in the body longer and is ideal for long-term deficiencies. Now, cyanocobalamin is the synthetic version that's found in cheap supplements and fortified foods. Your liver has to remove the cyanide before it can begin activating it, which is a sloppy process, so you may want to avoid this one. You can also get it from fortified versions of nutritional yeast, but make sure it has the natural methylcobalamin version if you eat this. And chlorella is a vegan source of B12 which has some active B12 but it isn't well absorbed. Side effects. Generally speaking, vitamin B12 supplements rarely cause any side effects. Since B12 is water soluble, your body usually flushes out what it doesn't need. However, some people who mega dose between 5,000 and 10,000 micrograms daily over a long period tend to get side effects like acne and rosacea flare ups, anxiety, or restlessness. So it's best to stick with 1 to 3,000 micrograms of a natural version like methylcobalamin if you're using it long term. 
taking large amounts of poor quality B12 could potentially put a strain on the liver cells over time due to that cyanide component. Also, in some very rare cases, people may have a slight allergic reaction to the fillers or the additives that are used in junk brands, but this is usually avoided by just doing your research, reading reviews, finding a good quality brand. And finally, for your information, I'd like to give you some of the common B12 deficiency symptoms, such as pale skin, especially on the inner lower eyelid, happens when you don't make enough healthy red blood cells because of low B12 or iron. Vertical nail ridges is a common issue caused by low absorption. A fast heart rate over 100 beats per minute is often linked to low B12. A general feeling of numbness, blankness or emptiness could be because low B12 is preventing you from making serotonin properly. Gasping for air a lot when you talk could be an issue. Blurry vision is a common sign. You could get nerve tingling in your feet and hands because the nerves are starving. Or, and sometimes ringing in the ears is linked to low B12 as well. For more information on the signs that your body wants more B12, you may want to watch my previous video that's on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this helpful, and I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness.